So it's going to potential of some fog that's going to be facing many of us tomorrow morning. Not going to be for all areas. We're looking downtown Toledo right now with skies clearing out. Temperatures are falling and under calm winds, clear skies. Going to be some ripe ingredients in the wake of our rain showers to give us some fog into tomorrow morning. 38 degrees is where we currently are, and we can take a look at that hour by hour forecast with partly cloudy skies. Rest of tonight, here's where we may see a few hours of fog tomorrow morning. Right around 6 to 8 a.m. should be lifting then after 9 a.m but it could result in some slow travel into early tomorrow morning. Now, just a reminder, we've got that exclusive school delay hotspot map. Don't have any delays or closures at this point, but should we get fog tomorrow morning, you're going to see it live on WTOL 11 and only on WTOL 11 with meteorologist Ryan Weekman starting at 430 a.m. So again, we'll update that by the minute as any delays do come into potential fog tomorrow morning. Do have a few showers along the 224 corridor. It's anywhere from Ottawa to Finley down toward Tiff and those are drifting to the south and moving out as we drop back into the 30s. And I expect some areas already getting close to that freezing mark up across Hillsdale and into Lenawee County, where we've got freeze warnings that are in place. A little bit of fog already starting to develop from Lucas County down into Wood County and up across parts of Monroe County. And I do expect that will continue to span, expand as we go after midnight. So let's watch that area of fog that will be developing. Now I'm going to stop the clock 5 a.m. That's when we may start to get quarter mile visibility. That fog will thicken up through daybreak and I'll put a pause on the clock 7 a.m. Very difficult to pinpoint the precise locations. And again, that fog is going to be patchy hit or miss. So be cautious if you're out traveling tomorrow morning. You could encounter quarter mile visibility and that fog then lifts after 9 a.m. For a clear afternoon. The overall trend though, cold conditions will stick around late April and into early May. In fact, that's a bullseye of colder weather right across the lower Great Lakes. High confidence that most of our 10 day forecast is going to stay below average. We'll get fog possible tonight. Some areas of frost as we head down to 32 for the overnight low after a little fog tomorrow morning and that melts away. We're to see highs into the mid 50s, dry and pleasant weather through the afternoon tomorrow and outside of our morning fog. Your Wednesday afternoon is going to be quite pleasant near 60 on Thursday. There will be a cooler lake breeze for lakeshore communities than rain chances. They're going to be back Friday. A few showers showers may hold off till late Saturday. That could allow highs to pop into the mid 60s Saturday. The nicer of the two weekend days back into the 50s Sunday. More rain chances. They'll be scattered on and off showers Sunday through Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as cooler weather continues late April into early May.